Hello, welcome to today's pick a card video. Today we're going to be reading an oracle card from your pile of choice. From Whispers of Lord Ganesha. I'm going to be reading from the book here. So you can pick your pile and then we'll start reading them. Okay, let's begin with pile number one. I guess it's just card number one, rather. Promise of the future, number eight. Promise of the future. Rest assured, something new is on the horizon. All indications are favoring a time of new awareness. Seek new outlets for your creative expression. This heralds the beginning of a new phase in your life. Ganesha is asking that you take time to reflect on your dreams and your desires. It is time that you begin down the road of a new creative endeavor. Ask Ganesha to help you uncover the desires of your subconscious mind and then follow any creative nudges you feel. You may experience them as innovative sparks that come to you unexpectedly. This momentum will start you down a path that may involve a view of the world. Reflect on your past endeavors. Take time to acknowledge and understand your lessons and your blessings. Feel gratitude for the path that has led you to this point in time. You are receiving the gift of freedom to choose what you will pursue. There may also be an ending taking place. All of life has its cycles. Through experiences and choices, you learn and grow. 
you are steadily progressing through the many phases of your life. With each ending comes the promise of a new dawn. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to pile number two, card number two. You chose divine support. Divine support. Ganesha is strongly connected to the mystical symbol Aum. The sacred Aum is the most important universal symbol of the divine presence in Hinduism. It is held to be the cosmic sound which was generated when the world first came into existence. The written form of this divine symbol when reversed gives the flawless outline of Ganesha. The use of the Aum sound is one way to help you connect to the divine support available to you now. Ganesha is ready to share his wisdom, knowledge, and guidance that is innate within his being. You now have the opportunity to cultivate a closer relationship with Ganesha or with any ascended master or divine being that resonates with you. Drawing on divine support facilitates a greater connection to your divine voice, which can be a source of inspiration and great wisdom in times of uncertainty or challenge. Ganesha's desire is to assist you on your life path. Know that he is guiding you away from fear, distress, and anguish, and towards the light and love at the center of your being. The same light and love which resonates through the vast universe and which is contained within the universal sound of Aum. Consider chanting this tone or listening to a recording of Aum to bring about the energetic shift that is needed at this time. Find support. Okay, let's move on to our third pile, our third card. Third stone. You chose priorities. Priorities. Make the most of your time. Every day is a gift. You have the option to make the most 
of what life is offering you. If you long to create organization in your life, you will benefit from prioritizing. Your ideals determine what you will seek in life. Your priorities are most visible in how you use your time. Ganesha is holding the water lily and emphasizing the importance of your values. He encourages you to know what you truly want. What makes you the happiest? There are always blessings that may not be apparent in the midst of a disappointment. Time is not something that can be saved for later. When it comes to the time allotted to you each day, you only have a limited opportunity. Make your choices about how you spend your time in accordance with your highest values. If you languish or procrastinate, the moment will be gone. Reevaluate how you have been spending your days and how you can strive to be more satisfied. In terms of priorities, for each major decision, such as education, occupation, place of residence, marriage, or parenting, you may ask yourself, what will be the impact of my decision? In all choices, make sure that you are certain of what your priorities are. Relate your goals to ways to bring love and blessings to yourself and the people who you share your life with. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to pick an oracle card from Whispers of Lord Ganesha. See you next time.